here we go. Here come the lights for the first sprint of the year. And we are racing in Shanghai. Good reaction time for Lewis Hamilton. Immediately drawing alongside Lando Norris. Looking to take the lead into turn one. Lewis Hamilton braves it out. We go through this long, long corner. Who's going to get there? Wheel to wheel, the two Brits. Off the road goes the pole sitter. Lewis Hamilton takes the lead. Then it's Fernando Alonso applying the pressure. Lando went brave, but Lando paid the price and falls down the order. Real disappointment for him. He's down to seventh as we battle it up. Up to third goes Max Verstappen happen. Alonso versus Hamilton at the front of the field. It all went wrong for our pole sitter. Yeah, he was a little bit too brave, fighting it, fighting what he'd already lost probably off the line through turn one and the corner just goes on and on and on and then eventually Norris ran out of room and he has shuffled right down the pack behind Perez, behind both Ferraris, but that's a nice move. Around the outside of Leclerc. Still being brave, still looking for a response, but Leclerc hangs on and Norris's heart will sink. The chance of maiden victory in Formula One fades in in the opening corner. It all came about as a result of Hamilton getting the better launch and Hamilton is trying to break clear. Hamilton versus Alonso versus Verstappen. Champions at the head of the field are top three on lap number one. Hamilton's launch and drive in that first phase was just so good and he's immediately ahead of Lando as they turn in. And at this point, it's desperation, to be honest, from Norris to try and hang it out. He'll end up the inside for three, but that was never going to work. Hamilton would have had to have been far too kind to him to allow him to sneak all the way around the outside. You're on pole. You've got a chance to win a race in Formula One, but he probably just lost it on the, uh, on the side. At least you've lost the lead here. Then you hang on, hang on. It's just the slippery track, really. It was more than just being forced off. It was the slippery track. Nice move for George Russell, cleanly done. He takes his place inside the top 10. A reminder, though, only the top eight score in this one. It is that four of 19. We have such an enthralling race out front. Here is Max Verstappen in the slipstream with DRS, trying to take the place away. Fernando Alonso can't do anything about it, won't do anything about it. No defensive shape thrown, and Verstappen improves to second place. Yeah, so Verstappen, car behind, uh, 41-1. Lead me to it, man, I can see him. This is a driver who wants to take the chequered flag against his old rival. Hamilton saying to Pete Bonington, I know who it is. I can see that he's getting closer and closer and closer still. Can Hamilton offer the defence? Alonso wasn't able to. Hamilton tries to cut off Max Verstappen, who dives to the inside. And Verstappen takes the lead at the hairpin. He's gone from fourth on the grid to P1 by lap nine. And there is nothing either Alonso or Hamilton could do to interrupt the Verstappen Express. And this was the lockup that we had the lap before that allowed Verstappen to get within DRS range. Yeah, that was the big one that just dropped him into the clutches of the Dutchman. This is further back in the field. This is Pierre Gasly. Gasly on the front foot, able to take the place away. He got past Hulkenberg. This is the best opportunity Sainz has had. Alonso knows it, hugs the inside line and he stays ahead for the moment. Traction race, does it? Give an opportunity to the Ferrari. Sainz comes alongside, squeezes his hero. The two Spaniards wheel to wheel, and Alonso keeps it in. They nearly bang wheels at huge speed. And finally, Sainz gets ahead. Alonso late on the brakes, though. They might invite Perez to get by both of them. And the defense from Alonso sends Perez past the pair. Alonso's going to get DRS on the back straight but Sainz now down the inside and Sainz takes the place away Perez up to third Sainz up to fourth Alonso will fade down all of that racecraft coming undone that late lunge not working for him into turn number nine and it's Perez in third Sainz in fourth and now we go on board with the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc who's going to try and take the place away his teammate knows he needs to defend and once again Charles Leclerc is on the outside line at the two Ferraris are millimetres apart. Avoiding action has to be taken from the man from Monaco and Fernando Alonso set that battle alight. Finally, Sainz thought he got by. Alonso with the relunge to the inside and Perez says thanks very much as Norris moves up to sixth and Alonso comes back to the pits. Now it's Leclerc versus Sainz. Oh, I'm surprised. Why is Alonso pitting? 
Whoa, look at that! All over the kerb and past! Excellent stuff, Charles Leclerc! It's a puncher for Fernando Alonso. It's a bold move for the Monegas driver to take fourth. This is where it all started. Alonso just gave Sainz enough room, but didn't get the traction coming out of the corner. They're side by side. Looked like Sainz had the move done coming into turn seven here, but Alonso did not give it up. Fought it the whole way. Was there contact? I don't think so, but it was so close. And then you thought this is now done. And this is a big lunge. That is a, it's a little bit too much, that one from Fernando, I think. Contact between the Aston and the Ferrari. Perez says, thank you. Appreciate that. Up to third I go. We're at turn 16 and wheel banging once again as the Spaniard tried to stay ahead. He's about to see the checkered flag first once again. Max Verstappen rounds the final corner for the last time in the sprint. Max Verstappen wins the opening sprint of the year. And he takes that checkered flag first to the acclaim of the crowd and his team, Lewis Hamilton. Only 10 points on the board all season long. You can add seven to that tally because he's second across the line to the crowd's delight. And Perez takes advantage of the overtaking brawl to take P3. It was Leclerc, then it was Sainz, Norris, and Piastri just keeps Russell at bay. Russell, the last of the point scorers, having climbed positions through the field. Max Verstappen taking the chequered flag first once again with Lewis Hamilton in second and Sergio Perez in third position. The man who is chasing a fifth Grand Prix pole position in a row, denied it yesterday in the wet, in the dry today. He takes the cheers of the crowd who are enjoying seeing Formula One back in Shanghai.